What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today I want to talk about the top five hardest champions to learn slash master, however you want to look at it. Uh, so let's get this started. First up, we got Eevee, the Winter's Witch. Some people are going to call bullshit right away. I don't care. Here's This is all just my opinion. You can let me know yours down below. I'll get to that. But here's why I picked Eevee. She's super squishy, but she can pack a punch. But she's not a spray and pray champion. So she's kind of harder to play. So you kind of have to pre-fire with her because she's slow movement. She doesn't do as much damage as she used to. And like you have to be able to kind of dip in and out or you're going to die. Um, I've had it multiple times where if you don't use your blink right, like I blinked into the wall, I got killed. Um, that happens quite a bit. Using your ice block at the right moments, like I don't know, during a Drogos alt or you've got a victor dropping mortars. Ice block helps. Also, if you like low health, ice block. Get your health up, get your cooldowns going so you can at least blink out or at least fly out of there. Please don't fly in enemy fire. That's the biggest mistake I've seen a lot of EVs do is when they fly away, they don't, they fly away towards the enemy instead of just trying to get around a corner so the enemy can't see you anymore. And then her ultimate. Guys, her ultimate's really simple, but yet really hard to use for some reason. I mean, I'm terrible at it because I miss 90% of the time, but that's besides the point. I've, I've seen people use it for a solo Knessa kill. I've also seen people use it on an effective payload push or everything else and just completely wipe the team. Or you can misfire it, draw attention to yourself and get slaughtered before you can even do anything. So, that's why Eevee, the Winter Witch, is a pain to work with and the master. Next up, I am going to pick Drogos, and a lot of people are not going to be surprised by Drogos, but here's why. So, Drogos, his whole ability is like all like intertwined, like a well-tuned oil machine that's, that's not... Most players do not have that figured out. Nine times out of ten, most Drogo players are really bad, and I hate to be that person to say it, but I'm one of those really bad Drogo's players. So, you have to use his spit bubble effectively, otherwise it just kind of floats casually down the enemy of way. Because if you hit it with your rockets, it explodes, it can cross fire damage, blah, blah, blah. Your timing is everything. Plus, being able to fly around and drop rockets on people and not get killed yourself is a pretty hard task. Some people are going to be like, yeah, well, it's not that hard. Well, you're one of those special people, and I am not. Drogos makes my hands hurt after playing a couple matches. But if you can fly around and get those effective drops in on your enemies, ooh, buddy, Drogos is a bane to deal with if it's on the right hands. Also, I have seen this more times than I can count. Drogos, new Drogos players misusing the alt or just completely slaughtering the alt and just getting slaughtered from it. So like you're going to come from your spawned alt in halfway to the map where your alt will run out or you just, no. No, you, you got to use that all. It's all about timing with Drogos. Everything about Drogos seems to be timing. And it is awful. And I hate it. I need more practice with Drogos. I mean, I want to learn him. But that's besides the point. Next, I'm going to do Shaolin. Now, some people are going to agree or disagree. I don't. My big thing is with Shaolin, you have to be 100% accurate with Shaolin or you are screwed. Because you have to charge your basic to get their full damage, and if you miss, you're dead. I've had this happen multiple times to me. I've also done this to many Shaolins where I just slightly strafe out of their rain or out of their sight. Boom, he misses his shot, I kill him. It, you gotta be able to do with that. And his alt, I'm not gonna go too much with Shaolin just because his big thing is accuracy, accuracy, accuracy. But like his ultimate, so you can use it as, oh hey, I can go invisible and I can help be a team player by helping contest this until my tank gets back or I can help contest this so that it relieves some pressure or I could go behind and solo kill a Knessa because eh, I'm that guy. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. Please, don't be that guy. And last, but without least, we have one of my favorite characters. Next, we're going to talk about Bomb King. And some people, it's yes, some people it's no. Like I said, comments below. Let me know how wrong I am. But, Bomb King, 
my biggest complaint with most bomb king players is they're not accurate enough. So if you're not hitting your basic, like you're not sticking people, your bombs kind of don't do that much damage. I mean, yes, over time they can. Yes, they can be super effective. But if you're not hitting your bombs, that's going to be the biggest drawback. And then I'm also seeing people not effectively using grumpy bombs or their bouncy bombs. So I'm going to just go real simple with the grumpy bomb. Grumpy bomb, you have to use that thing effective, whether it's objectively to stop, you know, stun the tanks or the supports to just being a dick and wiping out the team or stunning their major DPS and ADCs, like whatever you need to do. Using that grumpy bomb effectively will change the tide of battles. I've been on the other end of a really good Bomb King and been cussing by the end of the game because I just hate facing good Bomb Kings. Like, the Bouncy Bomb is so useful because it can not only allow you to get in and out of shit, but it also allows you to knock enemies I don't know, off the map, off the objectives. All in all, be a total pain because it's not fun to be trying to aim while you're being launched back or off to the side. This is no bueno. No es bueno. But that's but like that's the big thing with it. If you do not use Bomb King right, you're worthless. You're not helping your team. It takes practice, I understand. You'll probably get hate mail. Well, that's just this community. But we can also talk about the fact that his ultimate is so devastating if used properly. I have been on the other end of this, and it is horrible. I've also been the receiving end, and I laugh hysterically. Because I'll roll in, blow up, stun three to four of them, throw my grumpy bomb to get the last couple people, hit, start hitting them with my bombs, blow them up, and you know, I usually walk away with at least a triple kill on an effective Bomb King ult. It is so good. But if you don't use that effectively, you're not going to get anywhere. So, now, okay, okay, before I get into this last one, I'm still going to leave up the Bomb King image. I can already hear your angry comments coming. I'm feeling the hate. The force is strong with this. But it's going to be one of my favorite characters. And it is Makoa. And here is why. First off, if you cannot hit anybody with your cannon or anchor, you're not going to live long. Because you cannot just sit there and eat damage. Yeah, you have a shield. But like, I've also been the guy who gets inside the shield to mess up Makoa's. Like, that hook... That hood combo, like that knocks out one of your legendaries, which is legendary I run it, is the pull where you pull somebody in, blast them, do like a thousand damage. That can take out a lot of ADCs. A lot of those damage and supports are going to be half health to like little to no health. Hell, I picked an EV out of the sky with it. That was fun. But that's how you use Makoa. You need to use him effectively. He's an offensive tank. But, like, yeah, you have your shield, you have your, your little dash, but, like, your dash is mostly... What I use it for is to get in and out of situations, or if I notice that, like, a Victor or a Tyra cannot aim, like, on a moving target very well, I'll dash into them to freak them out, and they'll start spraying all over the place. But you also don't have a huge health bar, like Ash and Nara. I mean, you've got an alright size health bar, but you're not, like, super tank, like Ash and Nara, and I think even now... They nerfed him, never mind. Scratch that last statement. But, if you can't use him effectively and use his abilities, you're just worthless. And I mean, his ultimate, it's pretty simple. You you tell people, do you want to challenge Makoa? You get like super strong, you gain all your health back, and then some. You can use it to save your own life when you're low health. You can use it to just, when they start swarming, just to knock out some people. Or you can be like me, who just wants to challenge Makoa does not matter but thanks for watching guys i appreciate it like i said let me know what your comments are down below well how wrong i am how much you agree what your opinions does not matter to me let's talk it out thanks for watching appreciate you love your faces and i'll see you next time